Does your Volkswagen Vanagon tachometer do this? Pegs every time you turn it on? You tried to fix it? To no avail? Stay tuned. First, it's important to know the history. When I first purchased this van again, it needed some work, so I took it in to a service place near me. They did an okay job. They're very nice there, but unfortunately, they're just not careful, so they ended up clipping this part of the circuit board, which is extremely fragile anyway. So the MacGyver side of me kicks in, and now I think I could either solder it or find a way to tape it with some metal piece in there to kind of fix it. Uh, in, in my attempt in doing that, I actually turn it on and then smoke rises and it's not a good sound. And so now starts my search. First place is Go Westy. They sell a really nice one with a circuit board and LED lighting, uh, but it's kind of spendy. So I'm a little nervous about that. And then there's another one at Vanagon.org. That one just has me a little concerned because it was loose wires. The price difference is not that big of a deal. Uh, and I'd rather have an actual circuit board. So that's what I went with, the GoSD solution. Now what I'll show you next in the video is how easy it is actually to remove the plastic housing around the tachometer and speedometer. It just comes right off. You just have two points that you pull off. Now I purchased the GoSD kit back in March, back on March 9th uh, to show you how long it's taken me to finally get this, and I owe Juan, my neighbor, remember the guy with the e-bike, um, really good with electrical engineering. He, he really identified the problem, so I owe him uh, a great deal of gratitude, and uh, it works, and it's amazing what the actual problem is. So after Juan gained access to the circuit board for that tachometer, this is what it looks like. This is the, the back of the circuit board, um, and he checked all the capacitors, the resistors, just visually inspected, did not smell anything as well that smelled burnt, because uh, that can also be an indicator. And through the magic of Ken Burns, you're going to see the great reveal here of what the problem was. And the part itself is like a buck 50. Any guesses as to what it is? <laughs> yes, this Texas instrument chip right here the SN29736P or F8340. So yes, you can actually buy that right here. Took about, I think about under two weeks to deliver from China, um, but then I received it. Juan helped me do the, uh, the install. I could have done it. I do have a soldering iron and a solder sucker. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the little um, pins uh, sometimes they, they bend them in, so he said that part was actually kind of tricky. But since he offered to help, I was like, yeah, please, I think I've jacked this up pretty good, so uh, please do me that favor. And he did. So wired it up. It works. It's amazing. This one little piece, uh, it, once you replace it, fixes your tachometer. It's a huge savings. So listen, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, I will leave a link to the part and um, also show you a little bit further in the cleaning and everything else that I did. So it's just four screws that actually hold the speedometer in here is what I'm working on right now. And once you remove those screws, the speedometer just comes right out and then you're actually able to clean on the inside of that, that window. Um, it's just so nice to be able to gain access to that and clean it. And you can see I had a lot of dust on mine so I ended up cleaning that off uh, as well. Um, so definitely recommend uh, if you're curious about how to do that. It's, it's not as scary as it may seem. So take a look at that. And then now I'll show you the tachometer side. And this is when you remove the tachometer. Again, you can just remove the four screws. You gain access to that. You can also see the gas meter and the temperature. And the circuitry in the back, that's all the Go Westy uh, parts for that piece. Now here's the proof that it works. It's not fully put back together, but it works. Beautiful. This, from the beginning to end, took a total of two months. And I tell you, man, it, it tests your patience, but it's worth it. So you definitely, I highly recommend having friends. <laughs> friends is good. All right, guys, hope this helps somebody. Y'all take care. Bye.